again. This is Wayne Scherer. Welcome back to Traffic Starter Pro. In this bonus lesson created by request of a Traffic Starter Pro student, you're going to learn how to create a static home page on your blog. This can be done right from the start if you like, although I don't recommend you doing that. I recommend you follow the steps of Traffic Starter Pro uh, modules 1 through 7 and a minimum before going ahead and doing this bonus video. So let's go ahead inside and see how easy it is to create a static blog homepage. Hi, Wayne Share, Traffic Starter Pro with a bonus video on how to set up your um, blog if you once you've got traffic going and things going or if you wish to think you can do things differently right from the start. How to put a static page as the um, home page of the blog, so to speak. Not I mean, if your blog is your is your website and it's the home page of your website but it's very simple I'm going to take you inside a web traffic code and show you exactly how to do that this web traffic code is our blog for traffic starter pro so let's uh, first take a quick look at um, the inside well let's go inside the dashboard you know how to get in your dashboard I showed you how to do that if you don't know how to do that then you shouldn't be on this video you need to go back and finish the Traffic Starter Pro lessons in the order that they're presented, modules one through seven at a minimum before you start doing any of this. Okay, so that said, inside your dashboard, let's take a quick look first at uh, Web Traffic Code. Uh, when I completed the initial training series, um, I made almost no new additions to um, Web Traffic Code. So uh, I want to show you the importance of the Traffic Starter Pro system and sustaining traffic in and doing in doing almost nothing, which isn't what you want to do. I just did that because this blog is not my primary blog. It was a blog to train you for Traffic Starter Pro. So, just one. Let's just take a quick look. I'm using a slightly different plugin here than I did when when I started the training. It doesn't matter which you use, size stats or um, the one that's in the training videos. Um, you take a look down here, and you can see the traffic stats for. Web Traffic Pro visits per day. Okay, and they varied off and on and go up and down, but uh, you can see them right there. Since let's see, I think well, you'll, if you go there right now, you're going to see a couple of new posts. But prior to that, I don't think I posted anything since January. Okay, that's the power of the Traffic Starter Pro system. Take a quick look inside of the, uh, this is the ACE, uh, the AW stats page for directly from my cPanel, and you can see the statistics I had, okay? And these are unique visitors, so I got, I still got unique visitors to this site, and I also had typically between 900 and 1,000 visitors per month um, doing absolutely nothing to this blog, okay? <laughs> And it, had I spent time focusing, I could have increased this traffic and made posts, which I'm actually starting to do now, if you notice. Um, and that's actually why this this spike is occurring, because of I'm starting new posting, so you can see the big increase in uh, traffic. But uh, that's the power of Traffic Starter Pro. Okay, you see right there? It goes to 100. Let's just say it just goes to 100 per day and stays there um, times 30. That's 3,000 visitors a month, okay? And, and that's after months of doing nothing on this blog. Nothing, okay? Traffic Starter Pro system works for getting traffic moving to your blog. You have to do the marketing. This isn't a marketing training. This is a traffic training. And the marketing and copy is up to you, um, but it's real, okay? So let's quickly look how we make a uh, static home page you're inside your dashboard let me just go back to the dashboard real quick as fast as I can get the internet to react here's the dashboard you go down to your settings right here click on your settings on the left menu your menu shows up with all of your uh, particular settings for your plugins showing up there and I believe we want to go to let's see try the reading that's the way somebody else would look at it so maybe the reading there we go all right 
So on the reading settings, your normal settings, as taught in Traffic Starter Pro or using your latest post, to make a particular page the static page, you just click the static page, and then you select the page you want to be your home page. So uh, I wouldn't want any of these as my home page, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but that's all you have to do. Then once you do that, since I, I'm not going to save these changes, I'm going to go ahead and do this to clear it out of the way. But then you want to have, well, actually, you don't even have to select this. You can have your posts, your posts will continue to post. They won't show up on the static page. They will kind of be in the background. So the only way you'll see them is, for instance, if you don't select a page here for them to post on and make one, is, uh, is if you go in here, let, you go up here to Appearance, click on it, and hit Widgets. Let's see what we got on the widgets. Maybe I have a widget that will do it. But uh, this is what you would do with the recent post um, plugin. Uh, it doesn't appear. Recent no comments. Recent posts. I'll do there. Have that. So you would just take this and drag it where you want it on your sidebar. And, and let me just do it for the moment and drag it right back off. It allows you to display the number of recent posts that you want. It's whatever number you want it to be. Okay. So that way, over in your what would appear to be your menu on your sidebar, you would be able to list the posts that are posting, even though you haven't listed a page for them to be posted. Okay, now let's quickly go back to that uh, settings page. That was the reading page. I'll click on that for the menu on the left. And then load right back up. So the other thing you would want to do, potentially, is then maybe you want to make a page that can appear on your menu. So if I wanted a page for my blog to appear on this menu, so if my home page was static, and I wanted a page that was my blog posts, um, well, the best articles you could actually use for that, I suppose, um, and I wanted my posts to start posting in best articles, then I would just select that and click there, and they would start posting there. And then when a reader came, you saw this, you'd have whatever you want on the home page, you'd have your sidebar, and then you can do... Um, then they would, if they clicked on best articles, they would see uh, all the posts as they came up. Plus, if I use the recent posts uh, um, I just showed you, actually, I do have it active here. Recent post is showing five right here. So they would, those articles would also appear here. You can make this as long as you want. You could put it, in like, if I put it in the wide sidebar and then listed 15, I mean, then you would look like just a regular menu system on your blog, okay? It's very simple. There you have it. That's how you make a static page and, um, and then a post page. Of course, if you want some other post page, all you do is go into posts. I've not been to posts. That's the wrong one. And then wait for it to stop spinning. And where you want to go, actually, is you want to go to pages. Click on pages. Actually, you could have clicked on add new directly. Um, but you go here, click on add new. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to create a page. I guess I'll just show you. Click Add New. It's going to open up. Make your page title, whatever you want it to be. Save it. Publish it. And go back to your um, reading page right here. And then select that page to be your post page, whichever you just made. Click it, save it, and now it's your post page. And then it will appear on your menu bar depending on the theme you have and have you, however you have the theme set up, okay? So that's it. Now, there's a number of uh, plug-in, not plug-ins, but there's a number of premium themes, and um, and there's a couple of few themes. You'd have to look for them, but they actually allow you to create um, squeeze pages and home pages and static home pages um, that... Some allow you to eliminate the headers, eliminate the sidebar, keep the sidebar if you want to. Um, pretty much customize that home page to look like a home page um, of your choice and without having any of the old HTML editing problems you would have in a WordPress blog. Um, right now, I'll leave that to you uh, to choose, but uh, the best way to do that is with a premium theme, not with a free theme. And uh, there's a number of premium themes recommended in Traffic Starter Pro, and I would check those first. All right. Thanks a lot. And uh, if you want to experiment with the static pages, there you go. That's how easy it is. See you next time.